Well, hello there, all you absolutely magnificent people, and welcome back to another episode of Anecologist Plays, where we are back in Empires of the Undergrowth. And today we are carrying on with the Drive Them Back mission, where we are trying to stem the tide of the Black Driver Ants. So let's jump right in, shall we? Now, there are too many soldiers for this to be worth our while. And if we look at animals, they very often will use what we call the optimal foraging or follow the optimal foraging hypothesis which indicates that if you have to spend too much energy and you don't get a lot of food for it it's not worth the effort to get it and for the matabelli ants here it may not may currently kind of be the worth the effort to come and raid this colony up here again because well there is quite a bit of food still to be had and currently there are not too many soldiers defending it so once we've got our strength back we can quickly come in and attack them a bit try to kill as many of these termites again as we can carry them back the to the nest yes it has indeed begun but when once there are too many soldiers in this area then we will just run back okay actually now we will run back just grab the food and run girls grab the food and run there we go so now that there are more soldiers coming along here we've got to weigh up our options and yes we can stand and fight but oh to what end we are just going to die and lose a lot of individuals along the way. So instead, it's easiest and best, we just retreat back to our nest, at least for now. And now what we can do is, of course, get more food that is buried in the nest here. So I think we're going to go, oh, there are a lot of stink ants around again. We just have to keep an eye on those as well. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to dig out to this side. And it seems, yeah, the driver ants are really going along in full force and I think I think they've pushed into that mound as well. Unfortunately, I don't foresee this mound surviving either. Goodness. That means the two mounds are basically wiped out. And that is actually two bad. Two termite colonies yeah, have now there we been go. conquered and their mounds pillaged. The driver frontier will head northeast, brazenly cutting across Matabili territory mm. to reach their next foray. Let's see, once we come across here, yeah, we're not going to cut through over those wafer lid trapdoor spiders so we should be fine we're just going to go along to this side and get ready to pounce on the stra any stragglers of the driver ants that are actually carrying food these guys are not carrying food these ones are Aha. we're going to go for the ones with food of course we are there we go lots of ones coming with food okay go for it let's show them who's boss the ants must defend themselves this is our territory guys or girls actually this is our territory Grab the food and run. That was a very successful raid. There should be some more coming with proper termite pieces along there, I think. Now you can see, ooh, so darker termites generally are more sclerotized. If you're looking at the major workers of the termites, they are definitely sclerotized. And the sclerotization hardens their body, also makes them a little bit more resistant to the sunlight, which means they can actually go outside a bit more. And that's why the termite king and queen are sclerotized. It allows them to actually go out into the outside world while they are allets, while they are those winged reproductive individuals. These ones here, they are not able to go outside really. They are really, really very vulnerable. They are at danger of getting heat stroke, drying out, all those lovely, horrible things. Okay. Now, we are going to pounce on these last stragglers again. Grab more food for our colony. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. The slowest of the bunch are killed by us and we steal their food. This is what we call kleptoparasitism, which is the stealing of food. Basically, you parasitize another species by stealing their food. And now, the thing is, that mound is also dead. Which means we can now actually also go and eat their queen if we wanted to. Oh, there are lots of scorpions coming out tonight. Oh, no. So I guess let's go do that. Oh, they just killed one another. So here we had two earrigs fighting, it seems, for territoriality or dominance. Most likely two males that were attacking one another. So the concentration of predators is high enough now that they actually start competing with one another and killing one another. This is interference competition, when instead of being scramble competition, first come, first served, you are fighting. In this case, they fought to the death so that one holds the territory and the other one dies. So now this one has access to all the resources in this general area. That's quite cool. Love it. 
Okay, and we have made it into this termite nest. Now we're just going to grab the queen, or grab as much of the queen as we possibly can. She's got 800 food worth on her. That's great. Oh, there's a huntsman spider also. She <laughs> killed my ant. This is just a massacre over here. Oh my word. So many dead creatures along here. Thankfully, we've got our medics, and our medics can try and rescue a whole bunch of these ants. One, two, three, four, five dead ants along this trail. And probably more once this earwig is done with us. Luckily, this wafer lid trapdoor spider is just outside our main path. Okay, you know what? I think we need to head over here. There is a wafer lid trapdoor spider right there, unfortunately. We are probably going to have to try and sneak past it. Maybe we can actually sneak past it. I don't know. We'll see, but we've got 33 soldiers that we can actually use. Oh, wait, never mind. Here comes the... The, the ants are coming, I guess, again. Yeah, here they come. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Is we are going to hang around. At the back here. Yeah, there comes Hungry the first one. Termites. Mm. Once again, the driver and foraging frontier closes in on the nearest mound. Well, now let's actually go back inside here. I'm just thinking that maybe we should actually just get some more food, a little bit more food at least here, and then we will go and, you know, <laughs> get some dead termites that were killed by the driver ants. So priorities, you know. We need a few more soldiers, just just a handful more. And you see, here we go. There's the new king and there's the new queen. So the queens of the termites do start out looking like this. Looking like a normal termite, just a little bit larger alert, I guess, than the king. But, you know, those bands there, those are what we call the tergites, or tergites, I mean, depending on how you pronounce it. And then uh, as the body, as the abdomen of the queen swells, those are the only, those are the last little dark bands that we see, the last little bit of stereotized bands we see on the body of the queen or the abdomen of the queen and then of course the white part there that really stretches quite a bit quite a lot and she then just lays eggs so this queen over here has started laying eggs you can see here some workers have also hatched starting to get the colony going unfortunately it's right in the nest of the matabele and so they stand no chance unfortunately never got past the point of establishment and you can see in both the queen here and the king though the circe those little pointy pointy things at the tips of the abdomens okay so that's quite cool interesting that the assassin bug does not worry about the silly driver ants oh okay at least they are clearing that trapdoor spider for us eventually they will and it will kill a few of the driver ants but it is ultimately there we go going to die like that and unfortunately these assassin bugs it seems they really want to eat the matabele ants they don't want to eat the driver ants at all. I would have loved if they just, you know, took out the driver ants a bit. <laughs> but of course, that does make sense that in the game here, they don't want that to happen. They want you to worry about the assassin bugs, not the driver ants to worry about them. Okay, so our Matabele ants should now get ready because I believe the driver ants are starting to bring back some food. Now, there we go. Some of them are bringing back food. There is a main column. The main column is still on its way to the termite mound. So what we are going to do is we are just going to kill them and steal their food, basically. So the idea, of course, as the, it says there at the top there, is inflict 125 casualties and prevent the driver ants from returning home with 25 or more pieces of food in a single raid. So we've got to do this as best we can. Kill a whole bunch of them, grab their food, and then just hang back so the main column comes past. Uh, un unfortunately, it seems there's a lot of food coming, so we need to head a little bit more to this side. They are going to escape home with a bunch of food though, but let's see here what we can do. We can take out a few more. Again, just trying not to make it worth their time and effort and energy to keep on raiding in this general area where we as the Matabele ants are. Unfortunately, it seems here comes a whole bunch. And yeah, they have managed to just take back their food. Unfortunately, that was just a horrible raid will. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to put my soldiers on groups one and two because I keep on getting confused that my soldiers are group one and three. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, we have actually gotten so much food that we can make a bunch more. There we go. Perfect. Oh, another Huntsman Spider came through as well. Oh my word. Now we really are attacking a whole bunch of driver ants here. Let's just try to save these dead ones at the back here. We're just basically driving them back towards the termite nest. That's what we're currently doing. Unfortunately, they did return home with exactly 25 pieces of food. That is unfortunate at the moment because otherwise we would have won. If we could have just prevented one less piece of food making it back to the colony, we would have actually won this one. You know what? That was actually not bad though. That was really not too shabby. And it seems this termite mount is still alive, so maybe we can do it tomorrow. Jeez, there are so many scorpions. Okay, so it looks like these scorpions now spawn in the dead termite mound. It does seem that predators do spawn from here now, which, you know, that makes absolute sense because it will happen that once the termite mound is vacant, lots of things will move in. Lots of scorpions do burrow into old termite mounds. I mean, this is generally nice soft soil there. There are lots of other invertebrates coming in here. It's a great place to come and live. So if I were a predator, like well, a scorpion at least, I would almost certainly also want to live in these termite mounds. Okay, so I don't really want to now go and raid this termite mound. I don't really want to do it because I do want them to gather as much food as they possibly can. But at the same time, if I don't kill the termites, well, everybody else will. The driver ants will. Unfortunately, oh, there is an assassin bug that still has armor over here. We just have to wait for that to fall off a bit. There you go, the stink ants once more on a raid. Most likely going to come back soon again with a whole bunch of other termites. Okay, it is time. So there is... Well, both of them. Both of the assassin bugs are dead. Okay, now we're just going to take a whole bunch of these workers. Unfortunately, I think the soldiers are most likely going to come again now. Yeah. Uh, you know what, that was an unsuccessful raid. Let's go home, shall we? And the driver ants are back. Of course. And there comes another Huntsman Spider and it just executed my the one The driver role. ants are Medic. back. Unchecked, they will eventually exhaust the Matabili's food mm -hmm. supply. If their incursion into this area becomes too costly, however, they may not return. Okay, so now we've got to get ready because we have to try to take them out this time around. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two groups of soldiers ready to pounce. Group one is going to wait over here. Group two is going to wait over there. Group two is the smaller group. Group one is the main group. As soon as the first bunch of driver ants come back, we are going to pounce on them with group one. If they come past to group two's area over here, then group two will pounce on them. That is the strategy we are going to use now. And group three, the medics can just kind of hang around. Okay, so there they go. They, of course, are attacking and oh, they're already heading straight into the mound. That is bad. Okay, that is really, really bad. Oopsie. Oh, and there are so many of them coming through. There are so many of them. Okay, so there comes a whole bunch with, sold, with food. However, oh, there we go. Okay, maybe group two can actually go for them now. The There's third a... termite colony mm. has fallen. Only one remains. If the drivers cannot be repelled now, there is no hope left for the Matabili colony. Their path will take them directly over the nest. Yes. Okay, so they've got to run straight along there now. Group one, you guys are coming in along here. Group two, you guys are coming along here. Attack them as best we can. Group 3, medics, save them. Okay, group 2, you guys can head back this side. Group 1, you guys must get out of the firing line. Because they're coming back. Come on, out of the way, out of the way. Okay, so here comes a whole bunch again. With some food. Let's intercept them. Group 1, you're up. Of course, you can see again the big soldiers here. They are defending against attackers like us doing a very good job I think at that actually oh as most of our group 2 got wiped out completely I think group 1 as well 
Unfortunately, just all these little pieces of food that we're getting from them. The eggs, basically, of the termites. We're not really egg termite egg specialists. We are termite, big termite specialists. That's what we actually are specialists in. Group three, please save a few. There we go, and run. Run back, run back, run back. Group one. You guys are going to come here now. Group three, you as well. I don't think we've pulled this off, I'm afraid. Look, they've already returned to 28 food. Yeah, we definitely haven't done this. This was a catastrophe, I'll be honest. Look at all these revived ants. <laughs> okay, this is, of course, the tail end of the driver ants, so that's fine. So this means we literally have one shot left. Now, previously, all the previous times I've done this mission, I have actually managed to do better than this and actually get them repelled before we got to this stage. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got that luxury this time around. We definitely don't have that luxury this time around. We need to repel them with the last termite mount. Oh, man. Okay, now this means that group one and two, you guys can come in and eat the queen, I guess. I really hope this last, this final termite mount is doing well, because otherwise we really are screwed. A Matabili ant has fallen prey to an assassin bug. Oh no! Using its rostrum like a hypodermic needle, it strikes forward, perforating its victim and injecting paralyzing saliva. Oh goodness, okay. The same apparatus is then used to suck out the liquefied innards. Unfortunately, I forgot about the assassin bugs. I keep on forgetting about the assassin bugs. But they are here and they are assassinating us. Ah, and adding us to their morbid collection of corpses on their backs. Okay, so what we're going to do is dig through to the food at the bottom here. The workers have excavated an African stink ant tunnel and it appears to have been used mm -hmm. recently. It has been used the very recently. The tunnel convenient highways for the stink ants, allowing them to reach the outskirts of their territory safely. Okay, so here we go. We've got a whole bunch more termites we can feed on. This will hopefully help replenish our numbers. We do have to, however, be careful how we dig tunnels so that the stink ants don't want to come through our nest area to get from point A to point B. As long as there are no more stink ants coming along here, we should be fine. A few moments later. Here come a bunch more stink ants along that trail. Oh, no, here they come. Are they... Oh, they're just along that trail. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. They're not along the trails that we are on. Yet. Maybe they'll come in a little bit, but for now they are not. And another new king and queen. Freshly established colony. Unfortunately, immediately extinct. And here come the driver ants. The driver ant menace has returned, mm. and the termite soldiers gather at their mound's entrance to repel the invasion. A brave effort, but futile. Their defenses will not hold. Hopefully it will. Thankfully, a lot of soldiers. This nest has been unraided. Hope mostly, at least. Okay, um, so I think fight. stink ants, unfortunately, coming straight through here. <gasps> no, don't run into our nest, you naughty one. Okay, so... Yeah, now one stink ant has actually made its way into our nest, but it is now dead. Okay, good. Sheesh. That's... Oh! 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 Okay, yeah, we are apparently sealing up this tunnel, guys. Accidentally. Oops. Not that I could afford to lose to any soldiers to the stink ants, but there we go. Okay, so of course now they will run right over our nest, and we can actually just catch them right over here as they come back. And our medics will be able to hopefully then take any injured individuals straight down back into our nest over here, get them back to full strength, and then everything will be fine. Okay, so they're meeting, they're clashing. Here comes the second wave again. We're just going to get our soldiers out. Unfortunately, right into the clutches of a huntsman spider. Because here they come back with with a bunch of food, unfortunately, right at the time when there's another bunch of driver ants coming along. Okay, screw it. We're running in, guys. We're running in. We are just causing chaos. That's currently what we are doing. Trying to interrupt them as best we can. We can just take some of the food down. That'll also be marvelous, you know. Okay. Medics, rescue. Oh, now there are stink ants in the nest as well. Oh, of course they are. All hell has broken loose right over here. 
And we are just kind of standing on our mount and doing our best. This is our last stand, everybody. This is our last stand. We are just trying to stay alive now. But we have killed a lot of driver ants, that's for sure. We've got a lot of food. So maybe, just maybe, we can pull this off. If we can, I'm going to be very, very pleasantly surprised. At the same time, we are also still fighting the stink ants over here. Because they still are refusing to leave us alone. The driver ants are returning ah. home. Their jaws are filled with termites. They will be back soon for more. Unlike the Matabili, they have no motivation to show restraint in their termite raids. They will press their siege until the mound is spent and then move to the next. I honestly did not imagine this working. Yet it did. Because there goes the last there's the last driver ant. There's an Agama, you know. Just because. We're gonna kill it as well. We have survived. The termites have survived, I think. An I hope so. An unfortunate Matabili scout has been snatched by a Contius Lamate, a wafer trapdoor spider. Let's just get rid of it, shall we? It's burrow with a hinged opening that blends perfectly with the surrounding substrate. When feeling the vibration of a passing insect, it runs out, strikes, and drags the victim underground all in the blink of an eye. I am really hoping that that termite mound is still alive. I don't see any signs. Yes, yes Their it is. is far outweighing yes. the food they could carry home. The driver ants have finally been forced away. The Matabili have regained control over their territories and have crucially protected their one remaining termite mound. If the driver ants should ever return, this colony will be prepared. Oh, goodness. Okay. So previously I've always been able to repel them before the last and so before only one termite mound is left but unfortunately this time around it did not go as well. Uh, but we managed to do it. We survived. One way or another we survived. So let's go back to our formicarium. So of course we do have quite a big colony. Well I say a big 211. There are lots and lots of old ants but no medics yet. No matabele ants yet. So I will have a poll on the channel which one I should go for, anesthetist or fast responder for the formicarium challenge that is to come up. So uh, vote there to let me know which one you think I should be going for. Of course, I'll be back next time again and we are going to take on the termite one, the last mount standing, but with challenge mode on. And then, of course, it is the real final experiment coming up. So if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Let me know what you would like to see me do after the real form aquarium challenge. And of course, we're also going to do a lot of those other little extra levels and free play, all those types of things. But any suggestions, you're welcome to put in the comments below as well. And until next time, everybody, stay safe. We'll see you all soon. Bye.